Hello and welcome to GoGeekGo.com. In this video, we will quickly show some of the important Informatica resources available to you when you get stuck with a new problem. And a problem can be something like, let's say you want to create a new transformation but you have no idea how to create it or got stuck with an error and have no clue how to proceed. So here are some of the important points when you are stuck. My friends, my first advice will be to not worry. You will definitely find the solution. Even experienced people get stuck. So you are not the only one in this boat. Think of it as a journey as issues will never end. So accept this truth and embrace the issues and problems as more the number of issues you face, the more experienced you become. So no need to panic, but concentrate on your plan to tackle these issues. Now let me quickly walk through some of these possible actions you can take when stuck with issues. So my first advice would be in case it's power center and it's actually similar in case of IDQ as well so my first advice is go to help go to contents and let's say you are stuck in creating a new transformation so this is the Informatica help page this is an index you can type something and it can directly take you to that topic or you can even search the topics and you can always make some of your topics as favorites so contents this is the main navigator page here so in my example let's say you got stuck on a new transformation and let's say your new transformation happened to be the aggregator transformation so once you go to transformation guide hit aggregator transformation you will see few pages these are only few pages and if you go through all these pages meticulously I can guarantee you that you will be able to create the aggregator transformation by yourself in Informatica power center and that is also true for IDQ so let's quickly go through these pages so aggregator transformation overview so this will state the overview what this aggregator transformation does and what are the different components which creates this aggregator transformation so group by port sorted port these are some of the important properties and you can go through all these things as well in this case is more about caches I'll just pass it through but this is what I wanted to show you here that it shows different aggregate functions you can use you can even use some of the conditional clauses like this uh, let me hit next for now page like this will be very handy if you look at this page it tells you let's say if your source data is like this the integration service performs the aggregator calculation on the following unique groups and this will be your output data so things like this are really helpful when creating a new transformation and Informatica has done a great job in creating this help file for the developers so do make use of the help file another thing right now which i want to show you is the transformation language reference and this is really helpful when you're working with functions date functions operators constants so let's say function so informatica has all these functions and if you look at these functions let's say we wanted to do regular replace so this gives you what is the syntax what is each and every element means and it also gives you the example so in this case you don't even need to go to Google and you can directly go to the help page first and look for that function description and example and 99% chances are that you will learn how to create that function now let me also quickly show you IDQ help 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 contents if you look at IDQ help the look and feel is almost same for the IDQ tool as well. So make use of these help files. These will be really helpful when you are stuck. Another important thing which I wanted to tell you is the Informatica support website. So if you click Informatica support, here is the my support option. So the my support knowledge base is very helpful. And in the knowledge base, you can simply put 
your error codes or the error description or even something like your transformation name and the articles or the documents or the error solutions will exactly guide you step by step on how to tackle an error or how to create an aggregated transformation or any other transformation so this is also a very helpful tool in order to access my support you need to have your account with Informatica so whichever company you work for you can ask them to create a my support account for you this is a license based so it is quite possible that you might not get access to this but if you can then I would definitely and highly recommend to make use of my support account and concentrate on the knowledge base articles when you're stuck with an error or if you're looking for a new transformation or a new function or any other help related to informatica so this completes this particular video and in my next tutorial i would be covering more power center and idq transformations in separate videos for power center and idq thanks for watching this video and do check out our website gogeeko.com for more easy to learn video by now.